you've seen how the table of contents appears in the iPad. Now this is how it appears in iBooks Author. If you go over to the book outline panel and click table of contents, uh, you see basically a layout template for the table of contents. And you can change a few things here. You can move where the chapter title will appear. You can move where the chapter number will appear. You can change the text characteristics like color and font and size and so forth of each. And uh, you can add certain elements, not all elements. Notice the widgets are grayed out. You can't add interactive elements or videos, but you can add text boxes and shapes and things like that. So we'll just add some random stuff here. And basically this is just going to continue to flow uh, however many chapters you have, just as you saw on the iPad. And this gray box down here is the space reserved for those uh, page spread thumbnails that you saw. Now if we go up to the menu bar and click on portrait orientation, basically all you can change here is what's above the fold. And by the fold I just mean what's above this line. Uh, everything below the line is fully automatically generated and everything above the line you can manipulate so you can have the book title in there or not you can uh, change the way that text box appears or how big it is I can make it smaller and I can add some stuff but it's got to be above the line see it just disappears if I try to drag it below the fold so maybe I want that there and I want to give some space for the title and I want to change the title to be in blue. So those are, uh, those are some of your possibilities, some of the options afforded to you in designing the table of contents. There's not a whole lot to do, especially in portrait orientation, but you can tweak it and design it to a limited extent.